everybody I hope you're doing so well today I'm just gonna do a chit chat get ready with me because I love doing chit chat get ready with me so they're like my favorite videos to film and they are just really casual and chill and basically sum up my channel in a nutshell <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do one of those today and I don't really know how to do an intro for chit chat get ready with me because literally the whole video is an intro so let's start putting some makeup on my face Okay, I'm going to put some foundation on first. I'm going to use my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation, which I haven't used on camera before. I'm in 303 True Nude. Oh, I don't know which... I'm going to use a sponge. I'm using my Real Techniques Perfection Complexion Perfection Sponge, I think. I really wanted to do a look kind of revolving around um, Stone from MAC, Stone Lip Liner and Lipstick. Um, because it's actually been one of my favourite lip combinations at the minute. Also, I love this foundation. It's like a really nice high street, kind of buildable coverage, nice finish, long lasting foundation. Um, so if you're looking for something affordable, this is a nice foundation. And I got this nail varnish from OPI recently, which is like a very similar colour. So I thought it would be fun if I did a tutorial kind of matching my lips to my nails. And I did this the other day just for like going out just on a normal day. And I loved how it looked. Um, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you might have seen it. But I'm not going to recreate that exact look because I don't actually <laughs> remember what the look looked like. So I'm just kind of going to improvise as I do most of the time. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on the nail varnish. So this is OPI's uh, Berlin There Done That. And it's like a really, really lovely colour. I love this colour a lot. I'm just going to whack some eyebrows on really quickly because everyone does their eyebrows differently. And I'll wait for maybe it to be a little bit less gloomy outside because it's suddenly gotten really dark. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. For you, it's going to be like a jump cut. Like I'm going to be back in three, two, one. I think I'm going to try and stick to the Lorac Pro palette today. Uh, I might kind of venture out a little bit, but I'm going to start with the shade Mauve. It's in the same kind of colour family as Stone, but it's a little bit lighter and a bit more purple. So this is going to go in my crease. I love this shade, I don't use it enough because I don't ever tend to wear um, really cool colours on my eyes because my eye colour is debatable. Um, sometimes it looks really brown, sometimes it looks really green. Um, I prefer them when they look green, so I bring out the green with the warmer colours. So um, today I thought let's do something a bit different because you guys are probably sick of seeing me wearing warm eye, show eye shows warm eye shadows so I thought I would go for a cool eye look as well feeling wild eh I'm also going to do the same under the eye because I think I'm feeling pretty grungy with it today and if you I haven't done a grunge look in a while if you guys have been subscribed to me for <laughs> a while you'll know that my favourite style of makeup would definitely be grunge inspired just because I like how you can get away with wearing quite a lot of makeup while still looking kind of edgy and effortless. So, smoke this right out. I'm now going to take a mixture of white and cream. I've used the heck out of this palette. I haven't used it in a while and I didn't realise how many colours I've hit pan on. That's rare for me. It means I really like a palette if I hit pan. And I'm just highlighting and buffing at the same time. Right, I'm now going in with the shade Pewter, which is very similar to Mauve, just a bit deeper and with a lot of shimmer. Um, pressing this onto the lid. And again, buffing it into Mauve and just blowing out that colour. Normally for like my grungier looks, I tend to avoid shimmer um, just because I personally prefer the look of like a really smudged out look when it's kind of more matte, but I'm just feeling shimmer today. I'm now going to go in with the shade Slate. 
and I'm actually going to change my brush. I'm going to go in with a smaller, little denser kind of brush. This colour has quite a bit of fallout, so you want to make sure you tap off the excess. And you're going to start buffing this into the outer corner. I love the colours in this palette, but I won't lie, they aren't the most, like, they aren't the best formulation in my opinion. They do tend to get quite a bit of fallout and um, the actual kind of colour payoff isn't always the best. So, but I love the colours, which is why I use this palette quite a bit. You've just got to kind of figure out how to work with them. This is just really bringing in those cool tones. Look at that fallout. And then I'm taking that brush that I applied pewter and mauve with and I'm buffing it in. And then the shade next to it, which is deep purple, I'm flipping my brush over to this little flat-ish dense brush. And I'm just kind of pressing that on top, mostly right on the outer V. Again, just bringing that kind of um, mauve, don't worry, I will blend that edge. <laughs> mm. And you're done. Mauve tone back into the smokiness with a darker purple, rather than using like a black. It's just a little bit softer. I want to blend out that edge. I'm then going to go in with the shade taupe, which you can see is my most used colour in this palette. And I'm just going to warm up this edge a little bit. Because even though I'm going with tall, tall, cool tones... Um, my skin tone is quite warm and sometimes you need a slightly warmer colour just to kind of blend the shades into your skin a bit better. Underneath my eyes, I'm going in with this little smudgy brush because it's perfect, it's like the perfect size to fit underneath your eye. I'm going to mix deep purple and slate together and begin the smudging process. Bringing it quite far into my lower lash line and go in with your brush and blend. We're going to take the same colours that we used to highlight our brow bone, the white and the cream, which are kind of satin in finishes. They aren't completely matte, they aren't shimmery, and that will just help brighten up the eye without kind of going for a glamorous inner corner. Because we don't go for it, we're not going for glamorous today. And then you want to take, sorry, I'm using like all the colours in this palette. Then I'm taking Espresso. Which is a cool toned brown and I'm buffing around the slate on the outer half. Because I think it just looks cool. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the black in this palette. I just want to deepen up the outer V a touch. I'm waiting for a guy actually to come and um, fix our dishwasher. He'll be here within this the like next hour or so, and I'm going to answer the door like half done, <laughs> and it's going to look funny. Like someone rang on the doorbell a second ago, and I went out there with one eyebrow on. Hello. No, that's not my car. Sorry, I can't move it for you. I need to get some concealer under my eyes. I need to, like, fix this here face of mine. But I'm using my Naked Skin Concealer to bring myself back from the dead. So I want to get these videos done today. I'm filming another, maybe one or... I'm definitely filming another one after this, but maybe two more after this. And then I'm going to let myself watch a film. I don't know what to watch. I watched Fifty Shades of Grey for the first time the other day. What a pile of bollocks that was. Honestly, it was... What is the storyline? Is there an arc to the story at all? 
No? Oh, okay, cool. And there was like no sex scenes. Like. Isn't that meant to be the like most risque thing ever? And it's just like so tame. Whatever. <laughs> just my opinion, more sex. <laughs> I'm bored of my own hair, so I'm just whacking it up. Oh, sorry, you can see my sports bra. I've literally... Sorry, this is TMI. Oh, swapping feet, my leg went down. But when I'm, like, PMSing, my boobs are so, so painful that it hurts to wear a bra, it hurts to not wear a bra. Because I am... I have got... Got quite big boobs, so to not wear a bra is just as painful as to wear a bra because it's so like heavy and it gives me backache. So, the only kind of middle ground way to deal with it is wearing a sports bra every day, but then that kind of limits my clothing options. <laughs> so, you can just see my like little cheeky, awkward sports bra just popping out. So, sorry about that, and also under your eye. If it's messy, it's okay. Am I in focus? No, I'm not. Now why? Um, question mark. I want to contrast my eyes and my lips when it comes to my skin. So I'm going for a warm, where did I put it? So this is my Chanel Soleil Tanda Chanel, which I have not used in, honestly, probably years. But... I really want to start using it again because it just has such a nice finish. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but honestly, my skin is probably like the driest it's ever been. And I've always had like combination to oily skin. So for my skin to just be straight up dry, like there's no oil whatsoever, is like annoying because I have like a routine and I have products and foundations and stuff that are good for my dry, my oily skin. I'm then going in with an old, old favourite which is nearly completely, sorry, blind you, nearly completely empty. It's, um, who's texting me? Uh, whatever. It's, sorry that was rude. It's, um, Casino Bronzer from NARS. Which I always tend to go back to when I do these sorts of looks. I just love how this looks. It's... I'm now going to apply the lips and I'll come back to the cheeks because I'm not sure what shade I want to go for. So here's the star of the show. This is my stone lip pencil from MAC. I'm going to fill in my entire lip with this. And I'm going to overdraw them because I have tiny lips, so why not? Okay, now we've lined and filled in our lips, I'm going to put the lipstick on, which is Stone from MAC. Oh, oh, hair. I'm going to put on a bit of this blush from NYX in the shade Chiffon. Last but not least, a bit of a highlight, and I'm going back to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I actually used this highlight recently in a video, and I'm using Butter Pecan, or Pecan, I actually don't know how to say that word, so we're just going to put it on. So here is my finished lipstick, kind of based around stone. It's just a very cool toned, kind of grungy, quite wearable makeup look. Um, matches my nails. <laughs> it's pretty foolproof. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. I hope you have a great day. Let me know down below what you think and I will see you in my next one.